what's up it's your fashion best friend and i'm back with another video if you're new here welcome if you're true here welcome back today is going to be about a little bit of everything um don't mind me i just got this new piercing and i'm ripping over my tongue but as y'all know your girl is five months post op so of course i'll be giving y'all an update on that I'll be showing you the body. I'll be doing a little mini try on for you guys. And yeah, catching you guys up to what's been going on in my life the last 30 days. Because clearly, I've been in my head. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into this video. Before doing so, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Turn on that bell. So that way when the new vlogs come, you are notified. And don't forget to prepare yourself for all of your questions and comments to post at the end of this video. I hope that you enjoy. And I'll see you in the next clip. Let's start with the fact that I'm five months post-op and I'm still having to compress. And when I say compress, I mean where my Baja, where my board, where my ball. So frustrating. But, you know, I'm not going to lie to y'all. I did take the cheap route. And with taking the cheap route, um, I'm paying for it. Um, I'm still drinking pineapple juice because it works. But, Having to still wear my Faja dependably um, and not being able, like right now I don't have it on because I'm drinking this ballerina tea and I'm getting into that in a different vlog um, and letting y'all know what that's about because ooh, it is a journey and because I have these long ghetto nails, um, I'm unable to do my Faja on my own so my wife has to help me. But the ballerina tea is sending your girl to the bathroom. So the best option was for me to wait and put it on when I go on my work. I'm currently working, but you know. So yeah, that's that. Um it goes right back on me. This is the This is the <laughs> Why your hand in your jaws like it? But yeah, um, so I'm still having to wear my fall and stuff. Um, and I'm going to show you guys why in another clip. What the? You're so nasty. Um, but I'm still having to um, wear my fall and stuff. And like I said, I'm going to show you guys why here in a second. Um. It, at one point, it was very much depressing to me, um, but I've learned to love what I have and embrace it, and I'm, I'm nowhere near where I used to be, although I still have ways to go to be where I want to be. Like, right now, I'm really trying to fight this battle of not getting, excuse me, around to, because I want to allow my body to do what it's supposed to do within the one-year mark, and, you know, allow my final results to tap in. But so far, I still have my days that I have to go back. Like, I just have to in order to get what I want. But then I have my days that I just really love my results. So, it's it's a tug of war. I promise. It's a tug of war. And I'm actually going to do a vlog about the emotional part, the depressing part, um, the mental part of this surgery that people do not talk about. Like, I don't want to get into the depths of it, but these are th those are things that people don't talk about. And it's so important going into this surgery because honestly, depression, mental um, in instability are not things that you can really just research to find out those things. But with people not talking about them, it's hard for you to know that 
this is what's going on or why it's going on. So I'm going to get into that very deeply. Um, but yeah, I'm about to show y'all this body and then we're going to get into this try on haul. Okay, so <laughs> I'm about to show you my tongue is yellow from the pineapple juice. Anyway, but I'm going to show y'all my body and I'm going to show y'all standing up and I'm going to show y'all sitting down, okay? Standing up isn't a problem. It's just sitting down for me. But yeah, let's get into this body. Okay, so this is the front. These are my wide hips. So this is the front. This is the side. And then go back. So don't get it twisted. I love my results. But y'all see this? This this right here, it won't go down. But it, it has went down a whole lot and what i'll do is insert some clips so that way y'all can see how bad it really was like it was so bad y'all like i honestly thought at one point i had a sarong a sarong i said sarong a sarong um but come to find out it's not a sarong that i have it's um it was an excessive swelling. Um, I was advised that I probably have external swelling, which is going to cause me to work out and make sure that my sodium intake is up to par. Because then you went to do the things that I was already doing, basically. So, now I'm about to sit down and I'm going to show y'all what it looks like when I sit down. This is where the discouraging part comes in. Okay. So now we're sitting. And like I said, this is the part that I don't like. Um, majority of it is from my fupa. Um, so yeah, I really don't like it. But here goes my thing. I absolutely hate this. Like, I'm still sitting on a pillow because my butt for the last month has been extremely, extremely, extremely sore. Like, I think it's getting bigger. But I don't like this. Like, I want my stomach to be flat when I sit down. Like, I don't want the pudge. I had the pudge before surgery. But, let me see if I can show y'all without showing too much. Majority of it is my fupa. You see, my stomach is here. This is my fupa. And this is what is so swollen. Causing this. So, um, yeah. That's the part that I dislike the most. But, um, um, what I was thinking about doing, they have this surgery called Mons Plasty. And, um, I was thinking about looking into that because that's honestly the only problem that I'm having. If I didn't have such the fat fupa area, then my stomach would be a lot flatter. So, yeah, that's the battle that I'm fighting right now in five months post-op. I gotta take this mask off. That's the battle that I'm fighting right now, um, being five months post-op. Which is causing me to still, to me being in the beginner stages of my compression. Like, I should now be able to wear waist trainers and things like that. So, I'm going to try to get the little 9XL um, wrap. 
because it's supposed to help with compression and it's supposed to be for good for people who are post operative surgery. So um, I'm thinking about going ahead and getting that and seeing if that'll help me out. So pray for your girl. But it's definitely a journey. Again, um, I still have opportunity for me to get my results under control because I haven't even walked into the stage of getting my final results. So I'm definitely grateful for that. Um, and I'll be doing another vlog that'll be showing you guys what I'm eating, um, what I do on a day to day basis as far as um, exercising and things like that because again this is a true journey like you have to be readily prepared for what you're walking into when it comes to the surgery like mentally not physically mentally because it's a lot but um i want to go ahead and take a break here and i'll be back with the try on haul to show y'all what my body looks like in clothes it looks really good like no lie it's just a sitting sitting down part and the poop part like i really want this to go away but it looks pretty good overall and i want to show you guys so stay tuned it's almost time to get further but stay tuned I'm super excited. We just had a, a package. I honestly just started ordering clothes. So, it's time for a try on haul. If you don't know, then you know. This is from the Lavish Luxon Company. She's located in Mesquite, Texas. And she has online option, of course, because I live in Tennessee. But, yeah, I'm super, super excited to try these clothes on um, and show you guys what this five-month post-op body looks like. So, I'll be back. Okay, so, I have three pieces. I have a pair of pants, and I have two dresses that I'm going to try on for you guys from the lavish look and company um my anniversary is this weekend and my best friend's birthday is next weekend so for my anniversary i will be wearing this pair of sneakers and i'm about to try it on and show you guys how it fits so yeah okay so this is the dress it is a size of medium and it hugs the girth. This is where I was. But this is what I want to be wearing Saturday to our dinner. Again, it is a medium, and of course, in a different vlog, I'm gonna show you how I dress it up for the weekend for my baby. But yeah, this is what it's giving. <laughs> Let's get into the next piece. All right, this is the second dress. It's a size of medium as well. It's giving. It definitely moves. This is the body. I love it. What's that TikTok? I love it. So yeah, it's giving. And this again is a size medium. And I'm gonna wear this to my best friend's birthday dinner. Real sexy. And I'm going to show y'all, of course, how I dressed it up. But yeah, let's get into the next piece. Okay, so the next thing is these pants. 
these are a size of large these are the first things that i ordered from her because i was really skeptical about what size i wore because i know that she only sold small through large so i ordered a large in these pants and they're a little big around my waist but i mean i'd rather it be big than it to be tight and then you know you be hanging over but here they are I'm gonna wear these um, on Sunday to the little baby concert. Cause if you didn't know, my wife loves little Dirk and little baby, so I'm taking her to the concert in Louisville. And yeah, I'm wearing these pants. And y'all know I'm gonna dress it up, cause I'm who your fashion best friend. But yeah, I really like these pants. Super cool. Haven't seen them in like a print, so I really want to do these most of them in like solid colors but yeah this is not all that I have but this is all that I'm going to give because I can't give y'all everything at one time you know but yeah I can't wait to dress these up and yeah tell me what you like tell me which one is your favorite so I hope that you guys like the pieces that I decided to show you guys today um, I can't wait to show you guys other styles. I can't wait to do the Get Ready With Me's. Um, those are definitely coming. Um, we're going to do some, give me some shopping hauls. We're going to do a lot of things, a lot, a lot of things. And before I let y'all go, I want to let y'all know that, um, what I'm going to be doing is posting a lot more frequently. Um, I am to post three times a week, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, so be on the lookout for that. Mondays will be Motivational Mondays, where it's just like a, not really a therapy, but an uplifting and a setting the tone type of vibe. Um, Wednesdays are going to be random. You'll get random videos, maybe me out partying with friends, maybe me out on a date with my wife, like random videos and then Fridays are going to be fashion Friday so we're going to start an episode of that of let's get ready with me um so yeah I hope that you guys are just as excited about this as I am of course I gotta keep you in the loop I gotta keep you excited I gotta keep you wanting more um so I think doing it that way will definitely keep you guys here with me and don't forget to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend about your fashion best friend. I've enjoyed you guys today. I hope that you have subscribed to my channel. If not, make sure that you do that. Turn your bell on. Thumbs up this video. And make sure that you leave all of your comments below. Um, what I want y'all to do to see who makes it to the end, comment below what time you watched this video. So... I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next vlog. Bye. Come on, because you play some damn money. Come on. See, I'm trying to help you. You want to help me, you playing. But I was going to give you somebody with a good damn time. Is that all your shirt? This is all my shirt. <laughs> Give it your all. Huh? Word in my phone with my tank top on.